Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll take a look into the overview of real world project. Well, basically we are going to develop a real world project to demonstrate the usage of Spring Boot and Apache Kafka. Well, here is our project goal. Well, basically we are going to read a huge amount of real time stream data from the Wikimedia to the database. Okay, and if you can see the architecture over here. So we are going to create a Kafka producer which will read a real time stream data from the Wikimedia and then it will write that data to the Kafka broker. And then we will create a Kafka consumer which will consume the real time stream data from the Kafka broker and then it will write to the database. So this is how the workflow for this project. Well this real world project is the best use case to demonstrate the usage of Apache Kafka because basically we use Apache Kafka to deal with a large amount of data right in this real world project we are going to see how to create a Kafka producer to read a large amount of real time stream data from the Wikimedia and then it will write that data to the Kafka broker and then we'll see how to write a Kafka consumer to consume that real time stream data from the Kafka broker and then it will write to the database okay so this is how the architecture for this real world project well let's head over to the, this link and let's see how the real time stream data looks like so let me go to the browser and let me hit this link in the browser and you can able to see this is a large amount of data so whatever the users you know do the changes in the wikimedia that will be retrieved by using this rest api well if you can closely observe this real time wikimedia data it has the events okay so whenever a user make a change in the wikimedia that entry will be stored as an event in the wikimedia server and by using this rest api we can fetch all the user made recent changes uh, in the wikimedia okay well let me show you a couple of demos for this real time wikimedia stream data so here you can see someone has created this user interface it behind the scene uses real time wikimedia stream data okay you can see here the real time you know data records are displaying here so whatever the changes the user made in a wikimedia that changes will be you know reflected over here and these are the charts and you can find the real time data changes in these charts so another demo example you can see someone has written the html and javascript code to create this user interface well this sample demo behind the scene reads real time wikimedia stream data and it will display that data here in a user interface well, in this real-time project, we'll see how to use Apache Kafka Broker to read the real-time stream data from the Wikimedia and then write to the database. All right. Well, basically, we're going to create two projects and you can think of these projects as a microservices. Well, first, we create a Kafka producer Wikimedia. So this project acts as a Kafka producer, which will read a real-time Wikimedia stream data and it will write that data to the Kafka Broker. Next, we'll create a Kafka consumer database project, which will consume or read a real time stream data from the Kafka broker. And then it will write that data to the database. All right. This is how at a high level Spring Boot Kafka project setup looks like. Basically, we're going to create two projects as a microservices. First one is Kafka producer Wikimedia as a microservice one and Kafka consumer data as a microservice two. And we're going to use Apache Kafka as a messaging system to exchange the messages between microservice 1 and microservice 2. Alright, great. I will see you in the next lecture.